The sun is out and dog owners are hitting the trails and parks. But there's a catch. The ticks are sticking like magnets. You get lots every trip now, it seems. Uh, within minutes, you notice them crawling on your legs. And uh, I don't ever remember it being that bad. Experts say the increase in ticks is partly due to the longer seasons of warm weather. In fact, people in Saskatchewan reported seeing ticks in December. Climate change is going to be good for ticks. They're possibly not so good for the rest of us. It's going to give a longer season of tick activity. The number of black leg ticks, a species known to carry Lyme disease, is increasing in Saskatchewan. So far, scientists have only found adult ticks, but they say they're getting ready to monitor for larvae and nymphs. It's not just the black-legged tick that we're worried about. There's um, a longhorned tick that has become a real issue in the northeastern U.S. that Canada really needs to be very aware if it gets here. That tick is, is kind of scary. It can reproduce without males. So a single female can start her own population and they carry other diseases that are really bad. The threat of these more dangerous ticks is concerning to many dog owners. Every year I get her, a, you know, some kind of medication and injection, whatever my veterinarian recommend. And that's probably it. And we go a lot out you know, for camping and stuff. I'm really scared about the ticks. Jenkins says scientists will be looking at methods used in the states to manage new ticks and tick-borne diseases. I would describe Canada as, as quite vulnerable because we don't have a lot of those here. So it's certainly something to be aware of that the ticks are going, ticks and their diseases will become a bigger part of our future. Scientists and the Ministry of Health are also asking the public to help. If you see any ticks when you're out and about, take a photo and report it at etic.ca. Laura Sharpaletti, CBC News, Regina.